celebrities, campaigners, including uh, Marcus Rashford, the footballer, charities and other groups are joining together in sending a letter. They've sent the letter already to the Prime Minister Boris Johnson to ask him to review the government's free school meals policy. Well, I'm joined now by the executive director of the charity, the Food Foundation, Anna Taylor. Uh, the charity is one of the signatories to that letter. Anna, thank you very much for joining us to talk about all of this. And this is not only about the contents of these food parcels, these free school meals that are being delivered to, to children as they homeschool, although that, of course, is, is a very, very important aspect of it. You're talking about, on a policy level, a, a much deeper look at what's going on. Tell us more. Yeah, that's right. And um, the images that we've seen this week around the really wholly inadequate food parcels, which have been circulated to some children, um, is just the latest in a series of crises that we've had over the last few months around free school meals. And it's um, disadvantaged children, of course, that pay the price of these um, failings within the system that we've currently got. And I think what we've seen is that the pandemic has revealed really um, some quite significant cracks and in some instances holes in our existing policy frameworks and, and, and made it really abundantly clear where we need to act in the longer term. And so what we're calling for today is for the government to do a comprehensive review into free school meals so that we can really learn the lessons of the last few months and importantly, put in place a set of measures which are going to help our disadvantaged children recover from the pandemic so that they actually always get access to good food, which keeps them fit and healthy and helps them to learn. So Anna, when you talk about a root and branch review, which the charity is saying, you know, unless there is a root and branch review, the problems are going to keep reappearing. Um, what exactly are you talking about? What do you want to be reviewed? Is it the threshold for receiving uh, free school meals? Is it the way they're funded? Uh, give us a little bit more detail on that. Yeah, so I mean, sort of three big areas which have been highlighted during the pandemic is one, um, the, ex the eligibility. So children who are living in poverty, but not eligible for free school meals and their, their need for them. Uh, the other area that's been heavily discussed is the provision that children who are getting free school meals, what they get during the holidays, because hunger doesn't stop in the holidays. Um, and then, the, the, then the, the third area, which has been revealed this week, is the quality of, of the school meal provision and uh, really making sure that school food standards, which are well established now in, in law, um, are upheld and that children really have the best possible nutrition and particularly disadvantaged children who rely on their free school meal as the most important meal of the day. Um, and so it's those kinds of areas that we think really need further investigation. Indeed, we think that the four UK nations have, have handled some of these issues differently. And we think there's some real merits in sharing experiences across the UK so that we can really get the right measures in place. OK, Anna, thank you very much for your time today. Anna Taylor, Executive Director of the charity The Food Foundation.